Hey guys, Blake here. I'm just detecting at a school um, near my local town. And, um, yep, first target, uh, good target. I look down and it's a surface mine. Two dollars. It's actually really warm. So, alright, that starts the total and let's move on. Okay, guys, back here. I'm just detecting under this big tree here. And, uh, two dollars. Nice, alright. So that's four dollars so far, and hopefully, we can get on to some more. Okay, so, um, bit of a weird signal. I was using the, uh, I'm using the Garrett Ace 200i, and it came up as a 70 60. I thought it might be 50 cents. Or 20 cents, but uh, yeah, it was two dollars, and I've scanned over the hole with the pinpointer, um, and there's no th nothing else, so there might be something else nearby that made it come up as that signal. So, right, let's see if we can get on some more. Okay, so not far from the hole that I just pulled out that two dollars, which was somewhere just there, um, popped out this dollar. Nice, so I think that brings a total of seven dollars so far. All right, let's see if we can make it to ten. Okay, still under this tree here. Uh, another two dollar coin. So I think that's um, two, four, six, eight, nine dollars now. All right, let's see if we can make it to ten dollars just under this tree. All right, still at this whole oval, and my dad's over there with the Equinox 800. Let's see if we can put him to the test and beat him. Alright, two dollars, we'll keep going. Alright, back here guys. I've moved away from under that tree. I didn't end up getting the ten or ten dollars. But uh yeah. A nice penny. Rue penny. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright, back here guys. I just pulled that penny off out just there. And about two meters away surface two dollars so that's eleven dollars in total so far and i don't think i've even been detecting for 45 minutes all right on to the next one okay guys i thought i'd do a live dig so i'll go ahead and sorry about my one hand job all right dollar Nice, check if there's anything else in there. No, oh, alright. Make sure you check if there's anything else in there. Alright, because you might miss something. Alright, on to the next one. Okay guys, the wind's here. I've been detecting my butt off. I've honestly been detecting for ages. I've probably found three dollars in the past, I don't know, hour or so. Whoops. I thought I struck myself a penny, but I think it's silver. That, I think that's a florin. I'll clean it up just the drink break. Um, I'll clean it up and see what the date is. Um, so I can't believe I just found a florin. Alright, catches when I wrap, when I clean it up. Okay guys, I've moved location to a, like a, um, a horse track and in the middle it's like a bit of a soccer oval um i've changed to the go find 60 because it's that trashy here um so i'm i'm able to turn off um so you have your iron foil ring and dollars so what i've just gone on was ring and coin and so much for a ring I found myself a beautiful I'm pretty sure it's silver ring I can't find any hallmarks but if I do find any I'll show you in the wrap up I'm so stoked after finding that florin and I am again with this ring it's such a beautiful ring I don't think it's bent I just think that's the way it's made so if you're giving doubts about the GoFind 60 or you don't know if you want it um, 
it is a very good detector, very reliable, folds up. They found me sixty dollars up at the Gold Coast once. So and also find the rings. I've also found a nine carat gold wedding band with this. Um so it obviously does the goods. So we'll keep going and see if we can find anything else. Hey guys, I'm back from the hunt. Uh, I think I went alright for a few hours for the day. Well, I reckon I went it all day. Um, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to Snow Digger. <clears throat> he um, subscribed and made a um, very great comment. So thank you very much, Snow Digger. Um, so I did alright with the silvers today. Um, so I found this 1946 florin. Uh, that's very cleaned up very well. Um, the back too. So that's a nice florin that will be going in the cabinet. A 1951 sixpence. That also cleaned up well. Um, so that will go in there as well. I actually haven't found a florin in a long time. Probably the last time I found it was found one was I don't know early last year. So very happy with that. And we went to a different location, and I used the Go Find sixty, and you can knock out some targets. So um, I found this ring. That's also a very nice ring. I don't know if my camera will focus but um it does have nine two five on there. I'll take a photo. It's um worn out. Seems like someone's worn this for a while. And you can only just make out um the two and five. So I'm very happy about this ring. Uh about time I found one that's not bent up. It I think that design there is how it's supposed to go it's very tiny it only fits that far and yeah so all up today i got two four six eight two four six eight ten twenty twenty two twenty four about twenty six dollars the florin also this uh nice penny um I find soapy water does the trick for the pennies. Just soak them in there for five minutes or so. And um, CLR or something like that does the goldies real well. I should have left one that was dirty, but don't leave them in there too long as you do get a bit of that pink on there. Wish this camera would focus. Yeah, some of that pink stuff on there, so make sure you don't just dump them in there and forget. Um, yeah, so I'm saving up for the Equinox 600. Let me know if that's a um, good upgrade or if I should stick with the Garrett Ace 200i. Um, I smashed my dad with the um, Equinox 800, but I think I just got lucky because I detected under this tree. And found nine dollars so which you would have seen in the start of that video so thanks everyone that subscribes um good on your snow digger for joining the party and i'd like and um i'll catch you in the next one